Welcome back to another episode of Pixel Art News. We're gonna start with Castaway that just got a release date. It's gonna be come out on August 16. It's done by the wonderful Johan V. Net. Retrieve your weapons face bosses to save your dog in a retro adventure focused on three dungeons. Finish the story mode to unlock the survivor mode. Ah, 50 floor death tower. You'll enjoy classic mechanics, charming visual style and an enchanting soundtrack. Really minimalistic, beautiful stuff. Steam Summer Sale is finally over, which means we get new releases and this is amazing stuff. Gestalt Steam and Cinder, inspired by 16 and 32-bit classics, Gestalt Steam and Cinder fuses light 2D platforming and exhilarating combat with an engrossing twist-led narrative in a stunningly handcrafted steampunk world. Well, it's no wonder the artwork is so amazing because we have CNG Mo on our direction. Check out this wonderful list of artists and Thomas even posted a thread about how they designed and produced all of the characters. Look at this, out of the concept art they go and create a bunch of different art styles from different artists and you can see how then they combine these influences together to generate the final look. As always, world of knowledge coming from CNG Mo. The game released last week and already has a shit ton of very positive reviews and you can get it now still 10% off if you are watching this in a very short time for 18 euros. Another beautifully animated game is Magical Delicacy which we've seen on the Wholesome Direct last year. What a wonderful big animations, characters, environments, everything is so pretty in this wholesome pixel art platformer. Cook magical delicacies from a vast collection of ingredients in your own shop. Explore an unfamiliar town and deliver tasty treats to the townsfolk. Learn new ways to traverse, discover secrets and experience a unique witchy world. The platforming part is sort of a metroidvania when you're searching for these ingredients and that might not be up everyone's alley but if you are interested in this cooking magical setting definitely check it out it's 10 percent off again just a little bit longer for 22 euros right now for windows have you ever wondered where the term roguelike comes from? Well, I really hope not because you would know your history very well. Rogue has been around for ages, open source everything, but the Epic's Rogue conversion came now to Switch. With pixel art graphics, gives a little bit more of War Fortress with art vibes. Epic's Rogue is the original ever-changing dungeon crawler. In the 1980s, a computer game emerged that changed the world of fantasy gaming forever. Randomly generated rooms meant that each journey into the infamous Dungeons of Doom was unique. The potent combination of random generation with permadeath proved to be intoxicating and the game was so influential it spawned an entire genre roguelikes there you go that's where all the roguelikes come from if you want to educate yourself definitely get epics rogue now available on switch for eight dollars and now that we're in the more old school waters let's take a look at veritas which came out today Unshroud's secrets hidden deep within the dark chambers of the God of Shadow. Persevere through monsters and mysteries lurking in every corner. Prepare to leave camp and journey into the castle's lonely halls by collecting resources and equipment to make it out alive. Well, the pixel art is just wonderful old school 8-bit era Game Boy Color with a little bit more flavor and it also isn't gonna cost you a lot. Get it for 7 euros for Windows. I have one more game for you today and it's Dojo Masters. Dojo Masters is an indie fighting game with a heavy focus on representing the various martial arts. The game is designed to be easy to pick up and play but insanely difficult to master. Unlike a traditional fighting game, you don't lose once your stamina is depleted. You must first deplete your opponent's stamina and then knock them down to win. 
So a very cool concept with different styles of martial arts. I love martial arts. I really want to check this out. It's only available for Windows, however, so I might have to wait until I can get a PC. But if you have one, get it for 12 euros while it's on its release sale. In today's episode of Pixel Art News, we have a new section, Steam Festivals. Yes, and there's actually gonna be two. What a happy time for Pixel Art. When we have a publisher like Chucklefish, who is doing their publisher sale? And if there is anything as close to a Pixel Art publisher, well, Chucklefish would definitely be it. With their internal development team and publishing a lot of other pixel art games look at all of these games on discounts if you haven't played them all you should get one of them like eastward that just got its octopia dlc gives you a little bit of stardew valley vibes into the eastward experience and then there's other games that i wrote on my blog like wargroove 2 advanced wars kind of strategic tactical game now they didn't give us any news on Witchbrook, this is the next game Chucklefish's internal team is working on, but they promised they will and they're working hard on it. So at least go over there if you didn't know about this game. Give it a wish list or grab one of the bundles and DLCs. Finally, the big announcement of today's episode is Pixelated Adventures. Wow, did I tell you the summer of 2024 is going to be amazing and it's going to all come together at the end of July, start of August with Pixelated Adventures, a Steam Festival. Oh goodness, the lineup is just massive. Look at all of this upcoming pixel art games. I sometimes complain I can't keep up with the pixel art games anymore because there's just too many to follow them all. Well, thanks to Brave at Night, the developers behind Yes Your Grace, for compiling all of these wonderful games for us to look forward to. And yes, Pixel Art Academy is also coming and will be released at the end of Pixelated Adventures at the very end on August 5th. And what you should also be looking for is all of the released games that are part of this festival. There will be a lot of discounts and of course demos for the coming soon section. Pixelated Festival will start next Monday in a week, July 29th. I'm very much looking forward to it.